Hello everybody, welcome to the Santa's room. Look, today we're going to take a look at uh, Sliver, the new the new app from uh, Alex Mathieu. Uh, he's had uh, a lot of problems getting this onto the App Store, it kept getting rejected, so it's a long-awaited app. And it's one of those apps that uh, you can edit in the background, creating lovely ambient textures. Um, it's one of those apps that, again, uh, does some groundbreaking, groundbreaking stuff. Uh, for iOS, it allows you to take a loop uh, or, or, or a piece of recorded audio and split it into four sections or slivers, if you like. And then it allows you to manipulate them in many, many different ways. You can control this with a MIDI controller. You can record every single movement, and you can create some incredibly great sounds. It has a keyboard. So you can play it, but let, let's uh, just have a look at what it comes with. Okay, so first of all, you can see all this, this going on. Okay, you have some presets here. It has two sections. This is where you can control the pan of each individual sliver, uh, the volume, and uh, the size and frequency of, of each channel. and it allows you to write all your movements or clear any of the movements that you touch so you're not clearing everything just what you're touching. Okay. Well, let's go. If we load a sound. Now it comes with a, 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 a big load of presets. Some from Synapse, some Sign Audio, and in this section over here, presets from Omnilimbo. Synapse again, some sign audio. Okay. So, if we stop this for a sec. As soon as we touch this again at the start. Okay, so if we go to our presets here. Sorry. If we go to our presets here, this load where it says load will let us load our own from audio paste, audio copy, audio share in and audio share out. Okay, so I put um, some down here, which was a pasted pasted audio, which has just gone in there. We'll load that up. And what we'll do... What we can do with the, the frequency, as soon as I start, this is going to start, but... So, as you can see now, I've only got channel one, which is actually doing anything. If I hold on to it, if I slide it up, it'll decrease. If I slide my finger down, you can make a bigger sliver. So there's your first tip. You want to, if you wanted to add any of the channels, any of the slivers of app uh, of the of the loop, you just touch it and touch there. And it'll go in. So now you can have four. Now if we want to clear. So we've just stopped everything moving by clearing. If we now wanted to write, all we need to do is hit write and write.
and stuff like that. So you can see how simple that is. So then you could uh, go back to here, press presets, save preset as um, anything you like, I suppose. Uh, uh, glitchy, we shall call that. Okay, return. And now down the bottom here, we should have um, gl uh, glitchy. Now I put one in earlier called gadget, which was just a drum loop, which was that drum loop. So if we load that up, and this is what that that sounds like. Just uh, sorry, just play. Go to our presets again and load uh, Glitchy, which we've just done. And of course, what this does, channel one, channel two, these control dynamics. See? I find it much more fun to uh, record your own. Also earlier, I did into the uh, the load part, put some recorded audio of me. Now if I do this, it'll overwrite my loaded program. So I want to clear some of this stuff and what I'll do is get rid of some of this and increase this one It's just me just doing a bit of talking into So we can have a look at some more of the factory presets. So let's do some writing over that now. Channel three, put a sliver, sorry, sliver there. Absolutely fantastic, yeah. It's one of those programs. It's one of those apps that looks looks complex, but is 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 quite simple to to use. So, if we go to um, let's see, let's go to audio sharing. We get taken over to audio share. Okay, and we can do. Let's just let's just record something basic now. So uh, I have to go a bit louder with this. So, uh, hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the sound test room. We're going to take a look at Sliver. Okay, so and it's normalized itself. So let's just trim that up here. Let's, 
whatever. Save that. Now you see it says import into apps. We can listen. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the sound test room. We're going to take a look at Sliver. Okay, so let's import that into Sliver. And down the bottom here, it will be, uh, I think, the, 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 this one, audio one. Because I, I haven't bothered naming them, so. Okay, so we've loaded that now. And we can, <laughs> we can, let's take, let's take some of these out. just done so if we write now you can see how how awesome this is going to be if you're going to spend some time maybe recording some chords and stuff and the fact that you could then go in to, um, let's just start it off again, keyboard. Now, bearing in mind that you can audio or copy or paste absolutely anything you like, you can see how this is going to start to sound incredible. Fantastic. So guys, there's a quick look at Sliver. Um, it's the same developer who brought us Glitch Breaks. And it's just another groundbreaking thing to be able to take a slices, slices uh, or four slices and have them play simultaneously any way you like of anything you want to put in there. Excellent. Of course, it's audio bus compatible. It's in the input slot. All right then, guys. I'll see you later. Bye.